Feminist Creativers presents a word for every generation that knows no fashion. Greetings, my dear friends. I hope and trust I find you well. We have one more experience for this working week, and we are considering Mount Moriah, that famous Mount Moriah of Abraham and Isaac. And we find this in Genesis chapter 22, the verses 1 up to 3. We shall draw five lessons for it. In the meantime, come with me to the word of God and let us read from verse 1, which reads as follows. After these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Verse 2, take your son, he said, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, go to the land of Moriah. Offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains I will tell you about. Verse 3. So Abraham got up early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took with him two of his young men and his son Isaac. He split wood for a burnt offering and set out to go to the place God had told him about. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word even as we pray. Let us pray. Kind and gracious Father in the heavens above, thank you, dear Lord, for the call to the mountain tops. There it lies our test. And dear Lord, we pray that we may overcome. We pray that we may even say, here am I, as you call us, even through this word. Dear Lord, may we answer in the affirmative and may we pass this test in our lives. This has been our prayer of faith. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now, without much ado, as we are about to go into this week, as I stated, point number one, God talks to Abraham and the Bible begins by saying, after these things, God tested Abraham. And at point number one, there is no test, there shall be no test before a blessing and an experience from the Lord. God makes it a point that he tests Abraham about an issue of having a child, an heir, and he waits until he has received this blessing in order for him to be tested. And as you are going into the week, you shall meet tests from the Lord, not temptations. God tests those he loves. And when he tests them, he wants them to pass. And above all, God gives them an experience so they can walk through it before they are tested. And what was the experience that Abraham went through? Remember, as you go back into verse, into chapter 22 of the same book, Genesis chapter 22, you're going to find that in chapter 21, Abraham actually sets Hagar and his son Ishmael on a voyage after Sarah has noticed that this young man, Ishmael, is scorning Isaac, is ridiculing Isaac. And he says, now, dear Hagar, and Ishmael, it is time to part ways. It is time to say goodbye. Abraham has this experience of parting with a son. After this experience, then God tests him. And secondly, Abraham has the experience. Isaac is actually called Isaac, which means laughter. Sarai had laughed when the angel said she was going to have a child who was named Isaac. Now that Isaac has come, she says, now people are going to laugh with me and not laugh at me. Now God says, after these things, when you now are in a space of laughter, when you are in the green and free zone, God sees that time and seizes it as a moment for you to have a test. And thirdly, Abraham goes into a covenant with Abimelech. And as he strikes this covenant with man, God says, now you have an experience of striking covenants with man. You have passed this test. I will give you the ultimate test. And the point number two, notice this. Abraham has a son. His son is Isaac. And Isaac, God says of him, take your only son, Isaac. There comes a problem where we do not know how to differentiate between possession and ownership. God is the owner of our children. We are the custodians of these children. And to make this test clear, 
God says, before I test you on this, I might as well give you test number one. Before we get to appreciation of position and ownership, test number one is, when I call you, will you answer? Abraham, here I am, O Lord. MK, here am I, O Lord. God is calling upon you this morning. Are you able to answer? That is question number one. Question number two, differentiate between position and ownership. God owns our children. God owns the blessings he has bestowed upon us. He has given us custody. We are just but in position. When the owner calls upon these to be returned to him, we must be willing to return them without any qualms. Point number three. Abraham is told, you are going to take the young man and you're going to offer him as a sacrifice. On a mountain, I will tell you. Now, this is where we look at progressive revelation. God gives him a direction, general direction. Go towards Moriah. Moriah is known where it is unto Abraham. When you have started walking towards Moriah, then I will reveal unto you the specific coordinates of the mountain. God waits for us to answer, here am I, to acknowledge he is the owner. And number three, to set our feet towards walking towards earth. Thus said the Lord. When we begin to walk towards God, God continues to reveal more and more light and truth unto us until we start walking in the right direction. Some truths will never be revealed unto us. Number four, notice this. Four people are in this party. Abraham, the two employees, and Isaac. God does not appear to Isaac. God does not appear to the employees. He appears to Abraham. God will not appear to the entire party except this. Some of us will not hear God speak to our ears. He will speak to those in leadership and they shall tell us that which is expected of us. Those who hear God speak to them, they are to walk by faith. And those who shall hear the men of God speak the word of God, they are to walk in trust and obedience, trust and obey, comply. God will speak to some of us, but not to all of us. And above all, at point number five, Abraham does not wait two days to heed. Abraham does not wait two months to start working on it. The very next morning, he has received the vision of a night, and the very next morning, he begins to execute the plan. He begins to obey. When you have received the word of God, do not wait any longer, for the evil one is waiting to snatch it away early in the morning. Rise up, get on your feet, and start obeying the word of God. What are the five points that I leave with you for this morning as you go your way? Point number one, no test shall come to you before a blessing and experience. Point number two, remember this, differentiate who is the possessor and who is the owner. Before you can even tackle question number two in your life during this week, take note, learn to respond yes when Christ calls unto you. Point number three, progressive revelation is what we shall experience when we teach our feet to walk towards the word of God, to do as thus saith the Lord, more and more shall be revealed according to his word. He shall show us great and mighty things we have not yet seen, and above all, God will not speak to all of us. Even then, get up and in the morning and be on your way. May God bless you. May God keep you. Blessings and peace. Good morning.